What's going on everyone? You're back with your boy Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're going to have a look at plotting points from a table of values. And this is exactly the same as what we did in the last lesson, but this time we just have to read our numbers out in a slightly different way. So we learned last lesson that plotting points on a graph is really just instructions or directions on how to get to that point, but only going horizontally first and then vertically second. So really we're saying, hey, how far across are we? And then how far up or down are we? And we we use positive and negative numbers in order to give these instructions as quickly as possible. So the lazy way to write this is x comma y. The x tells us how far to the side are we or how far across are we. And then that y value just tells us how far up or down. Remember that positive x is to the right and negative x is to the left. Positive y is up and negative y is down. As long as you're on top of that, you're gonna absolutely smash this lesson. So just as a really quick recap, we might be asked to plot the points three comma four and negative one comma two. So if we're gonna plot three comma four first, the three comes first. So that means we're going to the side three positions. Because it's positive, we're heading over to the right. Once we get to that spot, we've gotta go up four because it's positive four, and that's where our point is going to land. All you've got to do is put a point there. Then for our negative one, two, negative one means go to the left, one position, and then up two positions, that's where our point is. That's really the only skill that we need in order to excel in today's lesson. Sometimes we're going to be given a whole bunch of information that we need to graph, and it's going to be way too confusing if we just see like a hundred brackets just like that. So instead of trying to pick through all this data, we're going to put it into a really nice organized table. And we call this the table of values, which is where this lesson or this idea gets its name. So a table is going to look something like this. There's a whole bunch of numbers just straight away, and we have X and Y over there on the far left. So all this is saying that everything in the X column is the X value. This is how far horizontally or across these numbers are going to be. And then the Y value is just telling you where the point is up or down. So what's really important is that before we were going X comma Y, it looked across. But for this time, we are reading these vertically. So in this column here that I put that green line, that position is going to be negative two, negative four. So that means it goes to the left two and down four. Then if I looked at the next one across, that's negative one, negative two, and we always read from the top down. So this position, negative one, negative two, is telling us we're going to the left one spot and then down two spots. That next one there is zero, zero. That means we're at the origin. And as we go to the positive, all we have to do is change up. We're still looking from the top down, X and then Y. So that next position is one comma two, two comma four, and so on. So the exact same information is being given to you. If you're okay with the brackets, this is exactly the same. We're just reading top to bottom instead of across. So if we were gonna plot these on a graph, all we would have to do is the exact same as we did in the last lesson. So that first point there, negative two, negative four. Negative two is two to the left, negative four is down. I'm gonna put a dot there. Then the next one is negative one, down two, and that's my next spot. Zero, zero is at the origin, and then you might be able to see a little pattern emerging already. The next one, we go to the right one spot, up two. Then we're going to two, four. So across two, up four. Then across three, up six. I don't actually have enough space to do the last one on my graph, but you should be able to see the pattern straight away. All of these are going up in a dead straight line. If I put a ruler there, it would be exactly down that way. That's actually a really easy thing for us to do in linear relationships. Linear actually means straight line. So if your thing didn't look exactly straight, you know you've got something wrong as you've plotted these points. So the reason that they do come out as a perfectly straight line is because we can see a very quick pattern in this table of values. Let's just look at the X's. How are the X's changing every single time? So from negative two to negative one, we've just done plus one. From negative one to zero, plus one. Zero to one, plus one, and so on and so on. So all that's happening to the X's every time we go up, we're going across to the right one spot. Then the exact same thing's happening for Y, but instead of going up one, it's going up two. From negative four to negative two, plus two. Negative two to zero, plus two. Zero to two, plus two. So if you can see that pattern, you're actually like 80% of the way to knowing everything there is to know about linear relationships. 
This pattern is the fundamental idea that we have to latch onto. So what that means for the graph is that at every point, we go across one, up two. And then when I'm there, across one, up two. And because this is repeating so consistently, that's why it is that dead straight line. So here's another example of the table of values and we're gonna fill it out straight away. So this one, the X's is pretty easy. From negative three to negative two to negative one, the next one's gonna be zero, one, two, and three. And that's all we've got to put in. You can put those little arrows in if you want to, but we can see that every single column, it's going up one. So in the graph, that would be to the right one spot. Then for the Y's, it's the exact same thing. What's the pattern? Seven to four is minus three. Four to one is minus three. So guess what the next bit's gonna be? Minus three again, we've got negative two. Minus three from that, negative five. Minus three from that, negative eight. And the pattern still continues. So what this is saying graphically is that as we go to the right one spot, we are going down three spots. And that's gonna be super important for our next lesson. So the big pro tip for this lesson, we haven't actually learned any more skills. If you know how to plot points from the lesson before, you've already aced this lesson. And if you can see those patterns just by using addition and subtraction, you're already on the way to mastering this topic. So just make sure when we read those table of values, even though there's a lot of numbers there, you just have to read vertically. The X, the across number is always gonna be at the top and the Y, the up and down is on the bottom. If you can just convert that into your mind, you're gonna be sweet. Thanks so much for watching this lesson and I'll see you later.